The Easy Fix Wizard allows you to fix a lot of the common problems with the photos in uh, just a few minutes. Um, the controls are very simple and here on the main screen, on the first screen, you can check the boxes for the things you want to address. In this case I'm going to click on Make All Fixes and fix all of these different things with this picture here. I click on Next, the Next button, and it takes me to the first step where I can actually straighten the photo just by dragging the slider. You see I can move the, the slider to the right and it turns the photo so now this fence, this railing here that indicates what horizontal is, lines up with the grid lines. If I want to reset it, I can just hit the reset button, but this looks okay to me, so now I'll click next again, move on to the next step. This is the crop step, and there are a few cho choices here um, for common standard uh, crop shapes, and then I can also select custom, which allows me to change the shape to any shape I like. If I click on maybe 5 by 7, if I resize the crop area here, it will stay at the 5 by 7 aspect ratio. And if I click on this button here, it changed 5 by 7 horizontal to 5 by 7 portrait. And then I click crop. It's that simple. It crops the photo out. I click on next. It takes me to the next step, which is red eye. If I want to get a closer view, I can use the little slide control here to zoom in on the eyeballs. And then I can click with one click, click the red eye button, and it fixes it. Now it looks like there might be a little bit of residual red eye here over to the right so I can click directly on that too and it takes it away. If I like what I have there I click on next and it takes me to the next step which is brighten, contrast, sharpen. This this particular photo looks bright enough so I'm not going to adjust the brightness level here um, but, but maybe add a little sharpness to it. So I'll just go up a little bit. If I, if I go all the way to 5 you'll see that it it makes a big change, but that isn't necessary in this photo. Just a slight adjustment to sharpen there. Looks good to me, so then I'll click Next. And here, this is the color correction uh, screen. If, if the photo is taken indoors, sometimes there are um, uh, strange colors in the skin and that kind of thing because of tungsten lights or fluorescent lights. Uh, this, this photo was taken outside, so uh, it's natural sunlight and it looks pretty good, but if I wanted to adjust the colors or make the photo a little lighter or darker, I'd use these controls here. And then I can click reset to take it back to the original setting. I click next and on the last screen here of the wizard, I can use my cursor to draw a line around my subject. I don't have to be as precise as uh, you might think. And when I draw the line around the subject, it will automatically blur everything in the background, everything that's not selected. So I just made a circle around the subject and released the mouse and now you see the background becomes blurry. What that does is it allows me to uh, make the subject kind of stand out from the background a little bit. And then I can use these slider controls over here to change the quality of the blur. I can make it a little less blurry and I can change the, uh, the quality of the edge as well. So I think I like that. That looks nice. Uh, and then I click next and then I just save the file and that's it that's the easy fix wizard